Accompanying me is Matthew Richardson. What a game we've got today, Dan. There's really been a big build-up for this clash. Today's match between the Eagles and the Tigers. The batters look great as the players get set to run through them. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. We have the toss of the coin. Both teams outside the top eight, both hoping to work their way up the ladder. These lineups look very strong, and both teams look fired up and set to go. Just waiting for the opening siren now. Here we go. It's West Coast versus the Tigers. Kennedy pummels in, is in his possession. Tapped. Like Miles, big man does nicely. He takes control of the loose ball. Butler thought he had him. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Has it now. He receives the handball. Nat knew he got under it. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. Collected by Darling. Darling decisively. Kennedy going for number one. West Coast by a point. Grimes to bring it in. Plays on. Sockers the ball away. Lecrack will take the free after the ball was thrown. Lecrack going for number one. The Eagles get the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. The first goal by Lecrack. Lecrack has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. Claimed by that Nui. Rioli on the ball at the moment. Duggan onto the ball. Cole comes away with the ball has clearly been shopping at Clang as a Russ. It'll be a ball up. Nat Nui taps. Shuey gets the ball. That tackle clearly above the shoulders. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. He keeps his cool under pressure and kicks the ball out. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Townsend, who's quite clean, picking up the ball on the half volley. Sends the ball to open space. Interception. Miles thought he had him. Ainsworth marks the ball. He slams that on the boot. He grabs it. He hand passes it. Prestia boots it. He wins the contested mark. Picture perfect drop punt. Graham got under it. Handballs. Clean tap by Menadieu. That tackle clearly above the shoulders. Going for goal number one. Tapped by Menadieu. Pick up by McGovern. Boots it. The mark is taken by Vardy. Vardy needs to work on his vertical leap because at times he can be found wanting when he's leaping for the ball. Prestia puts his boot on it. Soldo with the ball. Sending it on its way. Gets a handball away. Cole misses the ball as he runs past. That's a piercing kick from Nat Nui. Ainsworth kicks it. A solid mark from Tsolda. Looks like he panicked there. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Kicks towards the middle of the ground. Marked by Caddy. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Graham going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short. Tactically this week. 50 metres out. Kicks it across the ground. He kicks the ball out of congestion. Marks. The Eagles for having shots for goal on the run rather than looking to hit targets inside 50. And why shouldn't they when they have so many quality kicks in the team? Cole kicks the ball. He lines it up with the goal. Puts boot to ball. A great mark under pressure. 
Natanui kicks for goal. It's in the air. That's a goal. What a long kick. West Coast have scored the last two goals. The Eagles leads by 13. Nat Nui got the hit out. Cripps with the ball. Gaff threading the needle right there. Good tap from Miles. Prestia gets the ball out of the pack. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Simply outplayed the opposition there. 15 metres out. Dowling taking a chance at goal. West Coast lead the Tigers. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Lysette just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. She with the mark. She shoots for goal. Perfect kick. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Claimed by Gasparri, guided by Caddy, Vardy picks it up. A short handball, sends it on its way, marked by Gaff. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Heads for the boundary line. A great effort. The Tigers just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. Graham slams the ball to his boot, sending it on its way, kept his composure then. He boots it. A great mark under pressure. Lambert slams the ball to his boot. Here's a chance for Caddy. Going for goal number one. It's in the air. What a goal from a mammoth kick. The first goal for the Tigers. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Lysette guides it. Tapped by Kennedy. Shuey feeds it wide. Marked by Archie. Archie is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Darling goes for home. He manages to intercept the bouncing ball. The Eagles have the edge over the Tigers in this match. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Big thumb from Lysette. What was he thinking? Gathers the ball. Asprey gets the ball out of the pack. Rioli sends the ball on its way. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. A solid mark from Menadieu. 30 metres from home. He's kicking on about a 30 degree angle which could prove challenging. This game almost out of reach for Richmond. Umpire has the ball ready for the centre bounce. Asprey totally outclassed in that contest. Let's go to Richo now and take a look at the stats. Not a lot of... The siren sounds for the second quarter. Set your goals high and don't stop till you get there. Nat Nui decisively. Kennedy with the football. Deft touch from Darling. The loose ball scooped up, hastily kicked. He takes control of the loose ball. Lecrae urged on by the crowd, prepares to kick. 45 metres out. West Coast have one to their tally. The second goal for Lecrae. The Eagles starting to exert some dominance over the Tigers with a lead of 37 to 12. Soldo looked about as coordinated as Disney's Goofy. Off the ground. Kennedy dishes it off by hand. Goes towards half forward. Out of bounds near the 50. Throw in from the boundary line. A lot of jostling as the boundary umpire puts the ball back into play. Short. Foolishly pushes his opponent in the back. Kicked by Darcy. Nat Nui claims it. Nat Nui takes a shot at goal. What a goal from a mammoth kick. The lead has been increased. That's two in a row for the Eagles. West Coast with the upper hand in this match. And it shows on the scoreboard, leading 43 to 12. Nat Nui is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Graham intercepts the ball. The ball's travelling. Nat Nui goes long and gets the goal. All is in readiness. 
First hand's important. Kennedy aims for his man on the ground. Hooley taps. The bouncing ball is controlled. It's been intercepted by the opposition. The advantage is played. The ball came out of the pack like a wet salmon. Gets a handball away. Graham going for number one. That was a huge kick. Malcolm Blight would be happy with that one. Graham kicks his first. Kicks a goal they badly needed. Richmond have been really predictable out there. They need to mix it up, break the line, start taking more of a chance, or this game will be lost. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Asprey gets the upper hand. Asprey needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. Lambert gains possession. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. Boston kicks the ball. Tapped by Cole. Collected by Caddy. He takes control of the loose ball. Kicks. Marked by Cripps. Low spearing kick. No one troubling him there. Sends it on its way. Great grab. Boots it. Steady hands there as he holds that one. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. Darling just gets it through. The lead has been increased. The Eagles in front. Darling is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. Nat Nui directs it down. Tapped by Kennedy. Squeezes on a handball. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. Cole shoots for goal. The Eagles have scored the last two goals. West Coast with the upper hand in this match. And it shows on the scoreboard, leading 61 to 18. He gives the ball away. Townsend boots it. Vardy claims it. Kicks towards the middle of the ground. Lyset has it. Lyset has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Nice bit of power then. It's a mark. He boots it. Great hands. Jams it on the boot. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Butler boots it. Townsend with the mark. Trims the grass with that one. Caddy just gauging which way that wind is blowing. They desperately need this goal to stem the flow. He gave it a crack but it sailed wide of the goal. The Tigers fans will beat the traffic home today. West Coast have been taking the time to size up the right option at the right time so they haven't been hurt on the turnover and that's why they're on track to win this match. Menadju takes a shot, that one puts them right back in contention. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Rinald wins the tap, terrible timing by Blyset. Rance bucks, intercepted, smothers, lucky bounce collected. It's in the air. And the risk pays off. Goal. Cole with his second goal. This kick stretches the lead. Cole has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. Reload wins the tap. Terrible timing by Lysette. Boots it. He was never going to get that. Boots it. Nice hands. Distance could be the problem. A 45 degree shot is not too hard. He just has to keep his cool. That's a goal. What a long kick. The lead has been increased by Kennedy. West Coast by eight goals. Kennedy is an incredible straight shooter. No angle seems too sharp for him. Pushing him out wide really doesn't increase his chances of missing. In fact, I think he likes the challenge. Gets boot to leather. Cripps marks it. Trims the grass with that one. Reload claims it. Gets boot to high, stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Kicks. Taken by Graham. He puts some power into that kick. A solid mark from Caddy. Caddy is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Miles marks the ball. He boots it. Good mark. He lines it up with the goal. Puts boot to ball. Grig marks the ball. Going for goal number one. Look at that. He's put it through. Brig getting his first right there. The Tigers get the badly needed goal. The Ruckman giving each other the ice cold killer stare downs as they wait for the bounce. Reynold hits it. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Gets a handball away. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. That kick was gigantic. Great goal. I'm sure we'll look back and exaggerate the distance in years to come. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. 
I said with the hit. He collects the loose ball. Squeezes out a handball. Good tap from Rioli. He lays off the pass. Candy. All of a sudden, the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by McGovern. Candy gets the tap. Kicked in a flurry. Shuey with the tap. There's players everywhere, but somehow he manages to send out the handball. Jams it on the boot now. Takes it well. Hulit sends the ball on its way. Coughed up by Caddy. Menadju with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. We'll go to Richo for the stats. Terrible stats for West Coast, but they're getting results in the end, and the score is what counts. Second half is underway. Make sure your worst enemy doesn't live between your own two ears. Good tap from that Nui. Tap by Shuey. Guided by Brioli. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. He picked it up off the ground. Cripps hand passes. He's heading for home. The kick just clears the line for a goal. Archie getting his first right there. All is in readiness. Nat Nui with the tap. Bump by Kennedy. All of a sudden the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Shuey. Tapped by Chi. Short. Picks it up. Grabs the footy. He gathers the loose ball. He gets another possession. He's heading for home. Goal for Kennedy. The Eagles by eight goals. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Solder hardly provided a challenge. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. Asprey collects. Deft touch from Asprey. Tapped by Prestia. Mutimer with a short hand pass. Mutimer guides it. Kennedy comes away with the ball. Kennedy executes the goal well. They increase their lead. West Coast by nine goals. Kennedy is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Good tap from that Nui. Tapped by Kennedy. Rioli picks up the loose ball. He gets the hand pass. Graham feeds it wide. It was all his. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. Gloston handballs as he's tackled by Greek. Oh, Redden. A rushed kick. Shuey there to mop it up. Moves it quickly by hand. Booted by that Nui. Kennedy enjoying a height advantage. Kennedy is pretty good at hangers. He just needs to work on getting some more height if he really wants to master the skill. He gathers the ball. Rance boots it. Hooley giving away a free. Duggan lining up with the goals. Rance with the spill. Hooley with handball. Kennedy goes for goal. Kennedy has got it. The Eagles by 10 goals. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Rino thumps it forward, gains possession. Hooley gathers, sends the Sharon on its way. Now that miss could prove costly. The Tigers, they're just being completely humiliated right here. The defense are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult, so I'd suggest he takes his time and just looks for the right option. Choose to kick it. He wins the contest. Heads for the boundary line. Simply outplayed the opposition there. A spearing kick from Bellis. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That is the peg. Keeps it close to the ground. Townsend couldn't hold on to that one. Ball goes over the line and out of play. Shuey runs off the ground like someone just gave him a Metamucil smoothie. Ruckman vying for the better position. Reveal, try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from a guy wearing makeup. And the ball goes sailing out of bounds. The Ruckman are locked in battle. Tap by Revolt. Graham plays the tackle and the ball comes loose. Takes it well. Richmond just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. A great mark under pressure. Caddy boots it long. It's a mark. Concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. Sending it on its way. Loston with the mark. 20 metres out. Wow, do they need to score. He's driven that ball hard, but it's a miss. That won't help. They need a goal. Shepard can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Cole, with great hands, puts boot to ball. It's a mark. 
Puts boot to ball. Graham with a strong mark. Puts boot to ball. The ball is socket. Perhaps he was trying to audition for the ballet. Townsend grabbed high by Cole. Townsend kicks it. Floston presents and takes the mark. He spears the ball. Vardy gets the interception on the bounce. Schofield gathers. Mutimer receives the ball. Miles takes him down, but the kick is away. Ainsworth. Hand passes the ball to the runner going past. Works it across the ground. Good mark by Duggan. Duggan wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. Sending it on its way. Hooley marks the ball. He kicks the ball. Townsend with real good use of the body. He gets boot to the ball. Loston with the mark. He slams that on the boot. Great hands. Good as this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. Caddy drives the ball towards goal. Caddy did well then. Richmond players with massive smiles on their faces now. They needed that. Caddy obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. Tap by Revolt. He has the ball. He's able to thread a needle and that kick comes out of the pack. Ellis with a perfect drop punt. Marked by Duggan. He brings it out of the pack. Great mark. Lysette. It's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Asprey boots it, he gets it under pressure, sending it on its way, the mark will be paid. He gets boot to the ball, Jeddah with good strong hands, he's got a hold of that one, he marks the ball. Picked by Cole, Ellis claims the ball, kicks, takes that one strongly, boots it, Redden has it, gets it across the ground. Vardy takes the mark. Vardy needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. Hooley with the ball. Puts boot to ball. That's a mark. Rewalt slams the ball to his boot. Lambert with the mark. He boots it. That's a mark. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. This will certainly test him from this distance. Floston on a 45 degree angle. It's just a question of accuracy. Caddy will be cursing the breeze for that one. The Tigers not enjoying this. Anything stands out there, Richo, with the stats? Well, the scoreboard says they're winning. But you wouldn't have thought so looking at those stats. Thank you very much, Richo.
Both teams look like they enjoyed the three-quarter time break as we enter this, the fourth turn. You can't just beat a team, you have to leave a lasting impression in their minds so that they never want to see you again. That could be the final nail in the coffin. All is in readiness. Big thump from that Nui. Deft touch from Kennedy. And the mark will be paid. Gets boot to leather. Short has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Graham with the mark. Richmond haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. The ball is gathered. Shuey passes it. He steals the ball on the bounce. The ball is mopped up. Cripps kicks it. Archie with the mark. Jams it on the boot now. The contest, no match for him. Graham slams it on the boot. Great grab. Sends the Sharon on its way. Caddy has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Schofield has the ball. He picks up the loose ball. It's like he has the ball on a string. Now we've got a ball up. Nat Nui with the tap. Caddy with the mighty fist. Goes short for the hand pass. His foot finds the ball and brings it out of the pack. Got his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Kicks it. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Soldo can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. He boots it. And the ball goes out of bounds. We'll get a ball in. Natanui with the spoil. Graham applying physical pressure. Shuey hand passes the ball. He boots it. Plenty of space for a very easy mark. A wayward kick from Smutherman. Gets boot to high. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Jams it on the boot now. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. West Coast put bypassing their four targets and having shots on the run with very few marks inside forward 50. Puts boot to ball. That's a mark. Butler slams the ball to his boot. Townsend with the kick. Caddy with the ball. Sends it on its way. Marked by Shuey. Lovely drop pass. Vardy couldn't hold on to that one. When he tackles you, you think the roof has just fallen in. Gives it to the running man. Good mark by Cripps. Nice drop pass. Nice mark there. The Eagles haven't taken many inside 50 forward marks and their ability to nail goals on the run is what's keeping them in front of Richmond. Lining it up with the goal now. Kennedy has a kick. Lacroix marks it. He kicks a gun barrel strike. That could be the final nail in the coffin. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Clean tap by Tzolder. The loose ball scooped up. The ball is socket. Clean tap by Clostad. McGovern with the tap. Pressure didn't phase him. Kicks as cool as the other side of the pillar. Sends it on its way. Mutimer claims the ball. Mutimer sends one up towards the wing. Graham kicks. Reload marks. He'll need a long-range boomer from here. He's on a 30-degree angle. That's a goal. What a long kick. Reload puts them back in contention. Time running out and there's a big margin in front of them. Reload got a really good footballing brain. Nat Nui thumps it forward. He gains possession. Booted by Conker. Graham with the tap. He collects the loose ball. Clean tap by Chi. Whack. Have that mate. The ball picked up. Shot by Chi. She just makes the goal line. West Coast and nailing the coffin shot. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. I set without a touch. The clearance by Solder. Grips with the mark. The dominance we're seeing from West Coast at the moment has come mostly from their running goals. They just haven't been able to get up to the contest and take a mark inside forward 50. Nice kick. The Eagles are in front. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. 
Solder hits it, bounces favorably for Vardy, shoots off the handball. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. I can't believe it, Dennis. He just keeps surprising us up here in the commentary box. They've got nothing to lose here apart from this match. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. I set with the hit, scoops up the bouncing ball. Taken by Miles. No questioning whether the Tigers can take a mark. I think everyone has seen enough cheap marks taken out there. The Tigers need to start kicking more direct for goal. He slams that on the boot. Jetta with great hands. Puts boot to ball. Paddy marks it. Sends the Sharon on its way. Solder marks. Kicks. Minergy takes it well. They desperately need this goal to stem the flow. What a great goal by Menadieu. They've got nothing to lose here apart from this match. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Solder, without a touch, the clearance by Glyset. Out of bounds, near the 50. A lot of jostling as the boundary umpire puts the ball back into play. Not much time remaining in the match. Rance bumped off the ball. He picks up the loose ball. Duggan collects. Going for goal number one. Duggan with a great kick. That could be the final nail in the coffin. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Lyset guides it. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Listen, here's the thing. This game was over before it began, and I don't think there's anything further I can add that will shed light on this outcome. Very one-sided. Your final word on today's game, Richo? The Tigers clearly didn't have their heads in this game. Perhaps they were too busy thinking about the nightclubs they would frequent tonight. If the players keep this up, they won't be on the list much longer. Final scores are 127 to 64. That's it for this match. Thanks to my co-commentator, Matthew Richardson. Thanks, Dennis. Until next time, that's it.